Hey, what's going on guys? Run with God976 here and we are back with some more Final Fantasy 15. Sorry, kinda cut into a cutscene right here. And yes, no, no, Noctis, screw you, not happening. If you go up close to this guy, it is level 119. We're not going to be fighting that thing. I can guarantee you that. I will not fight that thing. I have tried before and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Perhaps if we were level 100, we might have a chance, but still, I am not. Just, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to do it. Nope. Mm-mm. -mm. Indeed, there are demons, but guess what? There are us. Okay, I can grab the item. Good. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish um, these two, get these two pitches taken care of that we can go ahead and grab. I'm gonna go for that one since it's the further away one and a bit more out of the way. So can I go through here? Oh, I need a key, don't I? Dang it! What? Why? Why, why, why? What kind of key do I need? That's just dumb. And you know what? We've already fought her once, so I'm not going to fight her again. Especially since I need a key to get to places that... It's just annoying. Anyways, the other picture we need to take is right over here. And then we can move back. Hopefully I don't have to fight. Okay, good. Let me grab this real quick. Circle it. Eh, not a bad weapon. I mean, <laughs> weapon. Item. Alright, so we gotta capture some destruction. Let's zoom out so we can see it all and take the photo. It's good enough to me. Hard to believe everything got destroyed so soon after we left town. Lady Luna Freya was lucky to have escaped the chaos with her life. My dad sent her on a mission that day. All for my sake. I can't let their sacrifices go to waste. Indeed. It's unfortunate everything has happened. Unfortunate. It's evil what has happened. I can't allow this travesty to go on any longer. Um, so I can't do anything about the key that I need for that spiked armor. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we get that from, never mind. I can't do anything that we need, that, uh, about the key that we need for there right now. Hopefully one of the quests that we finish will give us a key that we need. Um, if not, I will make a cut and figure out what I need to do there, because I'm going to get all these quests done. Oh yeah. Might as well. I hope I'm not going the wrong way. I think you can cut back over there from here. Whoa. Alright, I need to quit going for every single item I see. There's really no need. But yeah, that Omega... Um... Robot... That we saw back there... Yeah, that thing's scary. <laughs> I could show y'all how devastating it is but just trust me when I say it, it, we can't beat it not at this level maybe not even at level 100 I don't know I've tried to beat it before and I just had to use item after item after item after item and really didn't get it all that low so yeah I don't want to spend an entire episode trying to beat one monster nope 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 we're not fighting y'all but it looks like we're gonna have to go ahead and fight this dragon, so. Must be a We can only hope it's bad. It's worse than it's bad. Hope it's right back. So basically Cerebrus, but dragon form. What? No! It's not a dog! You can't say that a dragon is Cerebrus. Can you 
There we go. Blindside. Nice. Too bad we do Oh, he's vulnerable. Nice. Alright, this dude is going down a lot quicker than I figured he would. I, I figured he was in his 50s, honestly, not level 45. It's a bit weaker than I had envisioned. Um, and he's staying vulnerable a lot longer than I thought he would. What is with this? It's kind of a disappointing fight, to be honest. Gosh, okay, I didn't remember doing all that. I did. I guess that worked. Alright, Gladio, let's see if he can finish him off. Did he dodge it? No, okay, good. I was about to say, that'd be butts. Did we... Oh, come on, we almost, we almost had it. What are y'all acting tired for? Don't let it gain it. <gasps> what? That's just annoying. Alright, well, at least we have the armor. There we go. You're going down, puppy. That looks more like a dragon than a puppy. Nah. Alright, he's almost down. And a... Oh, there we go. Finally, the chain. And a cross chain on top of that. Don't worry. Let me... Jesus. I hate when it does that. That should be enough to beat him. If not, then what? Come on. Come on. We got this. Come on. And a 10. That should be enough. Yep. And puppy's down. Chance, buddy. I really thought he was a dragon this whole time. <sighs> Looks like there's no way past the wall. <sighs> what? There's way too many of them. of all 
that beat him yes Garuda is not so we can't actually go do those side quests until wait what oh yeah that's where it, it turns in at. oh okay Never mind. We didn't have to do that. I feel dumb now. I, uh... <laughs> um, okay. I was wrong about that. We didn't have to fight that quite yet. But better than than never, I guess. Um, anyways. Alright. Now that we know where we're actually going. What? Alright, so that one's actually a bit further down, so let's go ahead and go take care of this one first. Probably gonna have to go around this way, so let's go around this way and then we'll find our way. Safety first, everybody! Nope. Safety. <laughs> Who cares about safety in this situation? Come on now. Prompto, you should know better, dude. Alright, here we go. We're gonna meet up with that glaive and see exactly what it is that they need us to do. So you must be the glaive she was talking about. I feel like I know you somehow. I also vaguely recall making their acquaintance. Were they this talkative last time we met, too? I'm not sure, but there's no point dwelling on the past. Right now, I'm on the mission. Oh, so the glaive joins us, and now we just have to go collect these batteries over here. Alright. No big deal, right? As long as it actually lets me collect them. Can I actually, can I collect this? Can, can I collect this? Thank you. Jesus. That's kind of annoying. It looks like they're not all exactly going to be inside the circle, so we got to be careful about where it actually is. Okay, so that was all that was there. So the glaive is with us, but they're not actually going to do anything. Unless there are certain monsters we have to fight. Literally, as I say that. Okay. Whatever. We have to beat them either way. Why are you, why is your health going down so slowly? Oh, uh -huh. this is gonna be an annoying fight. I can already tell. You're level 31. Y'all aren't even actual boss monsters. Why are y'all going down so slowly? Ha <laughs> ha! That's what y'all get. Garuda again. Oh, and as I was trying to say earlier, yes, Garuda is actually uh, one of the DLC gods that we got, so that explains why she wasn't in that cutscene earlier. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You only have the 
actual gods that you got during the main storyline, not the DLC storyline. If that happened, oh, it would be so epic. <laughs> Alright, it's like the gods literally answered my call and helped me out when I was taking too long to beat said monsters. Gave quite a lot of experience, wow. I can't complain too much then. Can I see where the batteries are now, please? Thank you. Whoa, it got really dark. Alright. Manjo battery. Uh, where is the other ones at? There's gotta be one around here. Back here? New. No. Maybe. Sue. So. New. No. Alright, so we go this way. Where are these batteries? I figured they'd be a little easier to find. Okay. Alright, there's one. There was only two in that. Okay, never mind. But seriously, I am having a hard time finding these things. This is probably the last one. Alright, cool. Yep. I think we found all there is to find. Okay, cool. Found one. Alright, that one was easy enough to find. And it looks like we got one more to go. Let's go ahead and go over there and grab that. One more to go. I meant one circle to go. Let me... Oh, fine. I wish they didn't make these circles so big. It'd be a little easier to find them if that weren't the case. Wouldn't be much of a side quest if it wasn't like that, though, huh? So I guess it makes sense. Oh, ho, ho. please don't be down there. It's It's down there, isn't it? It's down there. Crap. Let's hope that can... Oh, I gotta have to fight them, aren't I? Yeah. Alright, let's get them taken care of. Ah, oh, you little butts. Oh, butts. Alright. Nah, these guys ain't so tough. Just more of these floating deaths than I would like. But easy does it. Alright. Just one more to go, it looks like. I think, right? Yeah, one more. Alright, that's it. It wasn't too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up this last battery, and that should be it. Got it. So what now? Silent protagonist. What Cindy's planning to do with them? I've no doubt it'll be Glaive something special. Glaive's not protagonist. We'll find out soon enough. All right, that's it. We got that one taken care of, and all's left is this last picture that we need to take over there, uh, around the place that I couldn't seem to get into. So, what I am going to do is I'll meet y'all over there and uh, in the meantime I actually need to find out how to get that key that we need to get in there so see y'all here in a bit wait there's another photo that I need to take oh yeah I'm gonna have to actually go in there to take that bit. oh wait no 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 this is the one that's outside so never mind I'll go ahead and take this picture right here and then we'll worry about Then we'll worry about the uh, one that I need a key for. So, yeah, I'm not actually cutting quite yet. Not yet, but we'll, we'll be there. We'll get there. Alright. Sure it's a good thing there are a lot of places to save. It would be kind of annoying if there weren't. Alright, this is the last one we need to take a picture of. So let's go ahead and do so, and we'll be all done. Yeah, 
fine. The first one didn't make us take the entire thing. What kind of guy do you suppose the Founder King was? A rather special one, I assume. He's the first of his line to be selected as the Crystal's sworn protector. Just think. It could have been Arden who topped that throne. He and I may be born in the same blood, but I don't care. It won't stop me from bringing him to justice. Are these the same ones that we had just fought? I don't even care. I'm not going to fight them. Anyways, yes, I am going to go ahead and cut now, and I will meet y'all back over by the other one. See y'all in a bit. Alright guys, so I have found out where the key is at that we're going to need. You're actually going to go right here in the middle of the map. You're going to have to go to this lodging right here. And, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go over there and pick up the key. I'll see y'all when I pick said key up. Alright, we are here at the lodging right here. So yeah, you just go in here. And down this way, you don't want to actually go to where you can sleep at. And the item's going to be right here. Underpass Master Key. So, that being said... Huh. That probably brings us right back to um, where we need to go after we get... No, I didn't want to open that. Eh, whatever. To where we need to go after we take this last picture. So, ooh, that's a shortcut. Cool. All right. I'll keep that in mind once I uh, do that. Anyways, I'll... Uh... What thing? The key? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, why? Why, 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 why? Is he actually... Okay, we probably have to attack him to get into a fight with him. Alright, so, yeah. Not gonna do that. And I was gonna cut, but, uh... Yeah, we're pretty much there anyway, so let's go ahead and just get over there. If I can. Yeah, not gonna fight these guys. Because they're annoying. And, yeah, I've got like 30,000 experience saved up, so I'm good. You're also annoying, so... I'm not going to fight you again. I've already beaten you once. Don't need to beat you twice. And I found out that these monsters actually do regenerate. So if you beat them, they're still going to be there. So, yeah. Alright. Now that we have the master key, we can open every single gate that we need. Kind of stinks that you actually need to find something like that. But, eh, no big deal. We found it eventually. Alright, let's get that last photo taken and get these side quests dealt with. And then, we'll move on. Woo! Am I gonna have to fight you? I'm gonna have to fight you, aren't I? I gotta fight her. You know what, we've already fought one of them before, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this fight out. I'll see y'all here in a bit. Wait. She regained her health? What? I swear I was almost done with her and then she gains all of her health back. Or half of it at least. I've never seen that before. Um, okay. Well, yeah, I guess I'll show, go ahead and show that. That would be something. <laughs> that is weird. Anyways, cross chain done. Naganani, or whatever the heck her name is, chain, done. Ugh. We're good to go. I almost forgot about that awful name. <laughs> Alright, and now, let's go ahead and take this last photo. Onward. Right. If this is indeed where I need to take this photo at. <sighs> yeah! Alright! Indeed! Thanks. Y'all can stay there. Anyways, that is it 
we're all done with the side quest. So, I'll meet y'all back down there where the rest of the Crown City, I mean, the King's Lake were. So, see y'all here in a bit. Is something the matter? You look lost. Shall I escort you back to the shelter? Alright, so here's something. Um, apparently they have glaives around everywhere. If you go to where you can rest at, most of the places will actually take you right back to your base camp. So, that's very helpful. We're going to go ahead and do that. And the infamous loading screen. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, I'm joking, it hasn't been that long. Mm. Alright. Now that we are back here, let's go ahead and turn in all of these missions. Here you go. These are great. They should give us a good enough lay of the land to plan our next mission. Thanks. Our pleasure. It was a worthwhile endeavor for us as well. A nice trip down memory lane. And a reminder of the long road ahead. <laughs> I guess we better start walking. Cleaver's Talisman. So before I actually check out what all of these different, ooh, flame breath cannon, what all of these different weapons and accessories that we're about to get are, I'm go ahead and turn up in all of the quests. Thanks to you boys, we're that much closer to making Insomnia Imperial free for good. You can leave the stragglers to us. We'll take back our home. Tall's talisman. So if you couldn't tell, yes, definitely a good idea to have done these side quests. You get really good items back. Got a minute? Yeah. What's on your mind? Plenty. Question is, where to start? You know when someone's truly dead? When? It's not when their soul departs this world. It's when their memory does. If they're never forgotten, then they're never really gone. I guess that makes sense. That's why I make a point to always remember those who have fallen, so I can keep their memory alive. I've still got more to say. And we've still got more to listen. To. <laughs> I was thinking back to the day you were born. <laughs> what about it? No one saw it coming. Not that soon, at least. When we heard your mother was about to give birth, your father and I dropped everything. But we hopped in the regalia and off we went. A little too quickly, though. We made it to the hospital in one piece, but the car wasn't so lucky. Sid wasn't too happy about that one. Yeah, I can imagine. To be frank, though, I didn't catch a word he said. And all I could think about was how happy your father looked. I'm sure he'd be proud to know the little boy he held that day has grown into a fine young man. I had a little help. I've still got more to say. Saving the best for last. <laughs> you really are the spitting image of your father. Think so? You're a kind soul, like him. You'd always say, a single act of grace can save the human race. If only it were that easy. But it is. The people you have saved will go on to save others and find ways to make life on this star better for us all. Sounds like Dad, never the optimist. He was right, though. Your father knew his actions would resonate into the future. That's why he chose to save you, because he knew you would save us all. I wouldn't want to let my old man down. I've still got more to say. No, you don't. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. I should have started listening to my elders sooner. Hopefully, the younger generation will make the same mistake I did. You think they'll really make time for an old man like me? They're gonna want someone to serve as their role model, won't they? Uh, guess I won't be retiring anytime soon, then. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to think of Kor as an old man. <laughs> Alright, enough of the laughing! That was kinda creepy. Let's see, I actually need to see which who I turn this. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Thank you for your help. 
The glaive was elated to have been granted the honor of serving under the King of Light. They said teaming up reminded them of all those years spent fighting alongside their comrades. Tell them the honor was all mine. I'm glad I was able to share the field with one of my father's glaives. All right. Now that we got all those done, let's go ahead and check out the gear that we got for all that. First off, Gladio. He will have the Talls Talisman, not the circlet. <laughs> and yes, as you can see, you definitely want to get these items. You don't have to, but just look at how good they are. We're going to lose some attack, obviously, but not a big deal when you're gaining 10 of everything else. So definitely, I am glad that I went ahead and did this. It's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Just 10 on everything. It's great. It's great. And now, Prompto also got a secondary weapon. The Flame Breath Cannon. Though it's not as good as what we have already, if you haven't done the upgrades to these uh, different weapons that he already has, then the Flame Breath Cannon would be perfect for here. But since we have done the upgrades, we're good to go. Anyways, that is all that you can do here. We are all done here. Nothing more that we can do. And now, since we found the key, we can actually take the elevator back if we want. Though there is one place. Your head in the crowns guard. Your dad would be proud of you. These are pretty big shoes to fill. But I swore a vow to do whatever it takes to protect you and the future of our world. I'll be sure to hold you to it, Captain. Okay. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to talk to him, but. Howdy. Heard y'all was back in town. Better late than never. How have you been? I know for sure I actually haven't done all of these side quests because I hadn't seen that before I was touching there they are again but too bad now that we got the key we can unlock this and all it does is bring you out to a different place I'm pretty sure Watch this be a dead end. Oh, I'd be upset. You know what? I don't even want to fight y'all. Nope, no dead end. Really no point in doing that. It just brings you to the same place, pretty much. See? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut until I get back to where we need to go. To meet back up with Arden. See y'all here in a bit. After I get sliced. Try it at heart, huh? Alright, so I just picked up the item that Cerebrus had actually dropped. I had forgot that he dropped this, honestly. If I remember right, it's kind of like a tempered shield, except... Well, nope, never mind. It just increases your uh, health and nullifies fire attacks. So that's actually really good. Though, hmm. I don't believe it's good enough for any of them to carry. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Before we actually go in there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go down here and rest real quick. When we need a rest. Just to uh, gather the experience that we do have. I mean, why not? We got enough to at least level up once, so let's go ahead and do that. Come up with a plan. If it pleases your highness, 
Noctis coming up with plans? What? Enough to get all of them a level except for Noctis. Oh well, at least they're all 77. And of course Prompto was taking pictures in this situation. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and go to manual snaps and take all of these down. Did I already save this one? I can't remember. No, I did not. That's a good one. We're definitely saving that. I'm actually really glad... I feel like I have seen that guy. It's like a younger Sid, almost. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. What the heck is that? Oh, it's knocked. Just kind of huddled in a corner. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. So is that. Maybe it's a good thing we opened that door then. Alright, that does it for the pictures. Top of the morning, fellas. Indeed. It's so it's nighttime, don't you think? Uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Quit being a downer, Noctis. Come on now. Okay. All that's left is to head into here face off with Arden. So, let's head on in. This looks familiar. Stay cool. It's because it is. This is actually the opening scene of the game. Hang in there, buddy. Stay down. We'll keep him busy. Word for word. difference this time is that we actually get to fight him. Let's go! You don't know what level Ifrit is at this point, but you can tell just from how quick he, quickly he's going down that he's not that high level. Honestly didn't even need to use Armager there. And he caught me. What? Wait, what? That made me use... That's just annoying. But yes, once you do get him down... Amu comes to your rescue. Ultima Sword. You didn't think we weren't going to get the summon for um, Bahamut, did you? A summon against an oh god. Oh how epic. And you get to see Ifrit literally dodging every single sword.
Not quite. Now the real battle begins. This is Ifrit. It says question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm pretty sure he's like around level 50 though. You can see he's pretty much invulnerable at the moment. When he is on fire, he's invulnerable. But when he's regular, yeah, he's regular. Exactly. So just wait. When he's on fire, don't really worry about attacking him. And wait for him to not be on fire, obviously. <laughs> Get some good blindside links on him. Hopefully we can keep on attacking him. There we go. I really should have saved my Ultima. I mean, Alt. Uh, Armager. Wait. Gladio, do your thing. And perfect. He's not on fire. Wait. Oh, he was on fire whenever it happened. That's annoying. Now, if you actually ended up playing the tutorial of the game, this is where you open up at. You, are, you will be doing the tutorial in here. Because you are. This is quite an annoying boss fight, to be honest. But still... He's not hard. It's just a matter of dodging him whenever he's on fire like this. And I did it at the wrong time. Again. Man, I am bad about that. Alright, there we go. Come on. Let's get him. Go down. Go down, but... Ah, you butthead. Alright, that worked. Did it, was it at the right time? I think it was. Do your impulse, Gladio. Hopefully it's at the right time. Eh, it doesn't look like it. I can't even see how much health he has left. Whatever, not a big deal. We know he, that he's close. That's all that matters. We're about to get him. He's going down. Ifrit, you were no... You were no, um... Challenge for us. You should have known your place. Whenever Bahamut and us struck you down. And now Shiva truly will finish you off. Too little, too late, buddy. Taken down Ifrit, and all that's left is to head to the throne room and confront Arden. We're gonna save that for next time, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. That's it for today. If y'all liked what y'all watched, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Next time, we finish this. God bless you guys. I'll see y'all then.